Autobots more than meets the eye. Autobots waits their battle to destroy the evil forces of the Decepticons. Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this special comparison showcase we're going to be yet again looking at some of the Bayverse, so the movie figures, compared with their Generation 1 original selves. This is a great idea and all of these have been suggested by one of my subscribers called Charlie Young, so I hope he likes this very much. So what I'm going to do in a second, I'm going to pick up the camera and we're going to have a look at these in much more detail. I've also got some sealed examples of ones that we can show you and that's purely because that I haven't got the loose examples to do that with. So there's some, as I say, down there, which you can see on the bottom shelf and then the top step rather than shelf and then I've got some others at the top. So to be fair, we might as well start with this right now. So what I've done, we've got Soundwave here. Now, funnily enough, these are both Japanese exclusives. So I thought that I'd do this. So that's the original Generation 1 Sound Blaster, which was a Japanese exclusive. And then this is the eHobby Japanese exclusive Soundwave from Revenge of the Fallen. And I've only got one of them. But the ironic thing is on the back, you can see they've used the old artwork. Um, it is exactly the same as the Revenge of the Fallen figure just with the different deco so that's the e-hobby special edition there we're going to come and have a look at mix master in a second but there is crankcase the dark of the moon version for the life of me can't find my loose one anywhere but then funnily enough there is the generation one crankcase as well we're going to come down to the bottom shelf because we've got some in well sorry to the top shelf because we've got some interesting things i will come back to mix, mix master in a second but i suppose while we're here we can have a quick look there at both of their vehicle modes. Now at the bottom, we've got skids. Huge, huge differences between them two, obviously. Skids is just about to get a masterpiece version, which is gonna be great. Um, there is, of course, side swipe. You know, I've gone with this special edition one rather than just the plain silver one, but you can still see the big differences. Now this is where it gets funny, because there is Barricade, and I think actually he's a great character, and there is Barricade G1 that little micromaster. Now I was asked for Frenzy, but I've got two of them and I've got two of the guys in the back. So we've got little comparisons there. So Barricade and this guy next, these are the funniest. There is Blackout and there is Blackout G1. Again, just a little micromaster. Now Wheeljack, again, I've only got one of these sealed. So there is, if I move this down here, there is Wheeljack in the car modes just to compare, and then if we spin this round carefully, that is what Wheeljack looks like, or his name was Q in Dark of the Moon. And of course there is, in fact, if I pop him there, he should still fit. Yep, there we go. And there he is in his G1 original form. All right, moving down, Prime. I was gonna get a Voyager class, but I thought, well, you've got to get a leader class, haven't you, if it's Prime? And ironically enough, look how big the original Shockwave is. He's huge. So there's Prime. That's obviously G1. There is Shockwave, Dark of the Moon, and Shockwave G1. Staying with Dark of the Moon, Megatron, and Dark of the Moon Megatron. I've put yet another version of Bumblebee out, but this time I've put the G1 being the Pretender Bumblebee. Just again for a bit of difference. And now this is where we get, I suppose, more interesting again with the constructor cons. So we've got Bone Crusher, and we've got Bone Crusher. And I know I'm just about to be corrected before I even say it. I know that this isn't long haul; it's payload, but long haul has got exactly the same mould. It's just a different colour. And then, funnily enough, what I've actually got is the G2 um, yellow variant of long haul. Anyway, so it's sort of like they're basically the same, same as what Hasbro did there. So. They're pretty much all the ones that we wanted to look at. I'll just quickly have a look at Mix Master, as I say, because he was specially requested by Charlie. So if that balance is there just for two seconds, we can take these off. We've just looked at the actual, um, what's my call? The robot mode. So if we spit, sorry, the vehicle mode. So there is, of course, Mix Master. And there is, of course, huge huge differences between the two but there you go i so say this bit of fun um i've not got all of the movie figures i've got pretty much most of them but 
nowhere near as many as I've got of the generation one figures. So again, hope you found this interesting. It is just a bit of fun. We don't have to compare movie figures. Oh, there goes Mixmaster. I'll leave him there for a second. Any figures, you know, it can be from the Thrilling 30 range. It can be from most of the generations ones, or it could just be generation one figures with generation one figures. If you want anything comparing, anything just to see the difference in sizes or how they've changed over the years, give me a shout, let me know, drop me a message. Thanks for watching and please take care. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe.